All right, all right. Uh, earlier today, I went and saw Glass, which if you don't know what Glass is, go look it up. You probably wouldn't be watching this uh, video if you didn't know what it was, so I'm not going to explain it. Um, I made a quick little Instagram post right after I got out of the movie theater. Um, and just uh, like a quick what I thought of the film. And now I've had more time to kind of process it and think about it, and we're going to talk about it. So... I gotta be 100% honest, I'm going to tell you that this movie really disappointed me. Um, like when I first came out of there, I was just excited that I had just gotten to see more David Dunn stories. And that's what I went there for because I was such a fan of Unbreakable. Like I've watched it a million times, I used to watch it just just all the time, especially the a couple years after it came out, like the first couple of years, I've watched that thing all the time. And um, I then when I saw Split, I really enjoyed Split, but the fact that it connected the films at the end made me love it even more. And one of the one of the main things I loved about these films was the tone, the tone of these films. And if you've seen them both, you know what I mean. It's it's slow paced, it's dark, it's kind of. Um, I don't know exactly how to describe it, okay? But Shyamalan's films are kind of like that, where, um, kind of like The Sixth Sense was. It was very, like, dry. Like, the, the interactions and stuff, they were very personal. It felt like you were just in a small room with these characters. It didn't feel big. It didn't feel like big Hollywood movie, right? It felt personal. And so that's what I really loved about the films was the tone. This movie did not have the same tone. It, it felt like it tried to, uh, but it, it didn't get there at all. It, I don't know. It, you know, I was telling my friend about it. It felt like, you know when someone takes someone else's work and then tries to make a sequel? Like, um, a ah, perfect example, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. After you've seen Terminator 1 and 2, that James Cameron directed, wrote and directed, then you see Terminator 3, which he did not, and it does not feel like the same world. That's what this felt like. It felt like it wasn't the same world. It felt like versions of these characters in a different... It didn't feel like the same universe. It, it's, it was really strange. Um, I felt like the acting from the main actors in the film were really great. Samuel L. Jackson did well. Um, Bruce Willis did amazing, and McAvoy did fucking superb. His acting, uh, playing this multitude of split personality characters, is so good, just like in Split. But the dialogue in this movie was way off, dude. Like, it it just felt, like, forced. It seemed like they used the word comic book superheroes way too often. Um, it, it was like they were trying to sell it so hard that this is a superhero movie that, like, comic book movie, and I don't know, it just, it, the only person you had talking like that in, in Unbreakable was Mr. Glass, Samuel L. Jackson's character, you know, it's like, but in this movie, is like, everyone was using the same kind of vocabulary, it was really weird, um, and then a couple things just didn't feel the same, like, the character of the Beast, which is, you know, the main villain in this movie besides Mr. Glass, um, the beast comes out as one of the personalities and it literally is, he gets, he grows muscle, it gets all veiny. Um, and it was truly disturbing when he changed into the beast in split in this film. Not so much. It like took some of the, some of the scariness away from him. Like the beast had a bunch of dialogue and I was really confused by that. Like he was just communicating like a normal human being Except like this, like he was talking like this, but he was having conversations, which it didn't seem like that was possible. He's this ferocious, feral thing in Split, but in this movie, he's able to, to hold conversations and think critically, and I didn't like that, man. It didn't feel as, uh, didn't feel as dark, didn't feel as scary. Like, literally in Split, you kind of got worked up a little bit when the beast was coming out. You got afraid, and it, it was like a fleeting thing. Like, you didn't see him very clearly very much at all. 
And uh, that's what that added to the mystique and the, and the kind of horror of it all. This movie, it, it just wasn't like that, man. And the twists weren't bad. There were a couple twists in the movie. I'm not going to give away any spoilers. Just so you know, I'm not going to do that. It's opening day. I'm not going to do that to people. Um, but yeah, it felt like, it felt like the dialogue was off. It felt like, uh, the woman, I can't remember her name, but the one who plays the doctor in the film, it felt like overacting. It felt like everyone was kind of overacting except for the main characters. Um, except when they had, okay, one thing I did not like about the beast. I just did not like how they portrayed the beast in this film. McAvoy is the beast. McAvoy is amazing as all these other characters, and it's not his fault how he was told to do this character, okay? He does great at all these other characters with dialogue, but when he's the beast and he's talking, ridiculous. And another thing when he's the beast, he's like growling at people and shit, and it just doesn't, like, they just used his voice. He's like, raw, raw. like, it's ridiculous. The running like a dog thing, I just thought it was ridiculous, dude. It was, um, I was expecting so much out of this because of how much I loved Unbreakable, how much I enjoyed Split, and how excited I was about it all being the same universe. It was, uh, and I have to say the ending, I, I'm not going to ruin the ending, but I will tell you the ending to me was not what it could have been. It, it, I don't know. I wasn't satisfied with it. I wasn't satisfied with the ending. I just really wasn't. I didn't like the way they wrapped it up. Um. So yeah, I don't often do negative movie reviews, but I felt like I had talked this one up so much, I think I've made several videos about it, and um, I personally was so excited to see it, and just so happy that it was actually going to be made, and I was really disappointed, man, when it went, all in all, like, I'm, I guess I could say one thing I enjoyed, okay, is that I'm happy that I got to see the character of David Dunn again, and Mr. Glass, but mostly David Dunn, and I'm happy we got more David Dunn story, I just wish it was a better one. Anyway, did you see the film? If you did, let me know what you thought in the comments below. We can discuss spoilers all you want in the comments below, I'm not going to do it in the video, but I will go back and forth with you if you leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, if you like videos like this where I talk about movies, TV shows, um, other stuff I like, comic books, nerd shit, pop culture, if you're into that sort of thing, subscribe for more because that's what I do on this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.